Daily Devotionals for June 29th. Today's scripture reading will be Psalms 109, verses 1 and 2. Do not keep silent, O God of my praise, for the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful have opened against me. They have spoken against me with a lying tongue. You know, it's a very serious thing to bring accusation against another. I think people do it all the time. Uh, there's a lot of gossip and a lot, of, a lot of slandering and people really don't take it to heart. But, you know, that's something that God hates, okay? A lying tongue. And people who bring, uh, it's not that he hates the people, he hates the sin, okay? But people are doing that and it seems to be running rampantly. I uh, see it a lot in what you see and hear from our newscasters, okay? They bring a lot of uh, accusation. They bring a lot of untruth. And David says here, the wicked, you know, it's like they've opened their mouth against him. They have a lying tongue. We need to be very careful. The Lord has said, you know, to speak his word in truth. Remember, we have the Holy Spirit of truth God has given him to us to be our guide, to be our comforter. We should be going to him. Uh, it's, a, it's a mighty thing to learn how to bridle our tongue. You can say a whole lot more by saying less, okay? Because when you're not agreeing with the gossipers and those who are, are lying, you know, some people, they just can't wait to spread the bad news you know they hear something negative and man we're supposed to be spreading the good news but some people they just can't wait they hear anything negative and they run quickly or they're on facebook or on their phones or whatever they are running as quickly as they can to spread gossip to spread lies you know if you don't have the facts you don't know it firsthand you really need to keep your mouth shut okay then you can't be caught guilty for doing these things. God hates that. So, you know, he said, the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful, they've opened against him with a lying tongue. I, I know somebody's trying to tell me something recently, and I'm like, okay, were you there? No. Did you see it firsthand? Well, of course not. Okay, then where did you hear it? Well, so-and-so said, because so-and-so told them, I'm like, well, then it's like, this is down the line. You know, it's like the old game operator, you know, you whisper in someone's ear and then pass it on down the line. Well, that's what's happened many, many times. You know, I know I participated in that. I try not to now because if I don't have the facts, I need to keep my mouth shut. And I know that pleases the Lord, okay? That's why James talks about us bridling our tongue. Okay, all right, till next time, be blessed.